gonna do a golf bag, which is one of the most popular cakes to do for men. Um, Father's Day, men's birthdays, um, not just for men, for women also, but mainly for men. Uh, what we're gonna do is, we're starting with a quarter sheet. Um, you can pretty much do this with a quarter sheet or a half sheet, depending on how many people you're gonna feed. Um, quarter sheet, I usually say it feeds about 20, some places say about 25, but I'm always a little bit more generous with the servings. Half sheet, usually about 50 servings um, for a half sheet cake. Um, a lot of times it's best just to take some buttercream to use it as a guide. Um, golf bags, they're usually long. They usually say this will be the front of the golf bag, this will be the back. There's usually um, a handle back here. Sometimes there's like a couple little pockets that stick out a little bit, which we may just do that part with the fondant. We are gonna cover it with a chocolate fondant um, later. And then at the front, it's usually narrow here at the top, and then it kind of comes out a little bit because there's usually a long, a long pocket right in this area. So what we wanna do is just take the um, bag of buttercream, there's no tip or anything on it, and what I do is usually just kind of take this and I start about here and whoops, come on out a little bit. Okay, and the nice thing about this, if you don't like the way your line looks, or all, all you have to do is, is erase it like that and then start over again. That's why I use a white buttercream, that way it doesn't matter. Uh, but I'm just gonna go ahead and draw back right over the same spot. Um, now, we kind of take a look at it, and I need to move, move some of this cake actually up here. So, I would need it to be that long. So that's not going to work, because that's going to be too short. So what I need to do is actually go ahead and bring it in a little bit more here. And then I can go ahead, I'm going to take some buttercream, put a little bit more buttercream here, because that's where I'm going to attach this piece of cake up here. And then I'm going to go ahead and cut just in this area, lift that up, and I'm gonna bring that over here. Okay. Now what I wanna do is to kinda of take a look at it. Okay, now this part here, usually the bag is kind of rounded here, so we'll take some of this cake off here. And let me actually turn it this way so you can see where I'm cutting. Okay, I want to cut in, I want to cut some of this out here. Okay, and then I want to come in here. Now usually this part, this part, this separate little pocket is actually usually a little bit lower than the main bag. So I'm going to cut, just kind of draw a line, I'll kind of cut down this way at a slightly at an angle this way at an angle about 45 degree angle and then go ahead and cut in this way and remove that and then I can round this part out and cut out that bottom part also round this off this piece that I remove from here and actually kind of place it right here in the center And I'll go ahead and take about half of that. We'll take some buttercream and we'll just attach it right here. Okay, because we just want it to be a little bit thicker. So I just put some buttercream underneath there. A little bit thicker in the middle so it's gonna round it out a little bit more once I ice it. If you wanted to fill in this area a little bit, you could use these little scraps of cake. And it's just filling in that area so you're not gonna get as much icing in that area okay so then we'll go ahead and um, I want to round this part off just a little bit kind of bring this in and round that off just a little bit more there okay now I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this cake here and then since I'm gonna use a chocolate fondant to cover the cake I'm gonna go ahead and ice it with a chocolate butter cream. so let me just clean this up and get the icing out and we'll be right back 